Good day everyone, this is Mom Sheila again, and today I will be discussing addition and subtraction of radicals. Radical expression can be added or subtracted if and only if they are like radicals. So the question is, when do we say that radical expressions are like radicals? Radical expression with the same index and radicand are examples of like radicals. If you have this, Example, these are the examples of like radicals. You are going to notice that in each pair, you have the same index and the same radicand. Now, in here, they are considered unlike radicals. Obviously, we have here a whole number and a radical expression, so they are unlike. We have 6 square root of x and square root of 6x. They have the same index of 2, but the radicand here is x and the radicand here is 6x, so they are also unlike radicals. And in here, the radicand is 2, the radicand is 3. They are also considered unlike radicals. Again, like radicals can be combined by either adding or subtracting. Now, for you to add or subtract, let us have here the hint. If you have 2 square root of 5 plus 4 square root of 5, it is equal to 6 square root of 5. Adding radicals is just like adding algebraic expression. We are going to consider the common or the like radicals as if it is a variable. And then what are you going to do is to keep that variable and then you are just going to add or subtract our numerical coefficient. You have to notice that if you are going to combine like radicals by either adding or subtracting, you are just going to keep the radical the same. So let us have the following examples. Number 1, if I have 9 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 3, obviously the terms are like radicals. They have the same radicand and the same index, square root of 3. And then you are just going to subtract based on the given. So the answer here is 5 square root of 3. So again, you just subtract our numerical coefficient that is 9 minus 4 that's why we have 5 and then you are just going to affix our common radicals or like radicals which is square root of 3 so the answer is 5 square root of 3 for our next example we have 6 square root of y plus 8 square root of y what have you noticed Yes, the terms are unlike, so we are not going to combine it. We cannot simplify this any further. So it is 6 square root of x plus 8 square root of y. For example, number 3, we have square root of m minus 7 square root of m. Yes, if you have square root of m, it is equal to 1 square root of m, meaning to say we have here a numerical coefficient of 1. And as you can see, we have here like radicals, so we can combine or simplify it, so it will become negative 6 square root of m. We have here 1 minus 7, that is negative 6, that's why we have negative 6 square root of m. For our next example, we have 2 square root of xy plus 2 square root of y plus 9 square root of xy. In here, we need to identify which terms are like radicals. And if you are going to look at here, these two radicals here, 2 square root of y and 9 square root of y, they are like radicals. So you are going to combine those two. If we do that, we will be having... Yes, we have 9 plus 2, that is 11. So you have 11 square root of y, and then you are just going to copy 2 square root of y. And again, these two are unlike radicals, so this will be your final answer. But sometimes, radicals do not appear to be like until they are simplified. So you have to simplify all the radicals first in an expression before trying to identify whether they are like or unlike radicals. Given this expression, square root of 45 minus square root of 20, if you are going to look it at a glance, yes, we can say that they are unlike radicals. Therefore, we cannot combine them 
we cannot add them or subtract. But notice also that square root of 45 and square root of 20 are not yet in the simplest form. So before we conclude that they are unlike, we have to simplify first the expression. So if you have square root of 45, the, co the correct factors are 9 times 5. 9 is a perfect square. And then 20 can also be expressed as 4 times 5 and 4 is a perfect square. And then using the law of radicals, we can write square root of 9 times 5 as square root of 9 times square root of 5. And also square root of 4 times 5 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 5. And if we simplify this, we will be having 3 because square root of 9 is 3. So we have 3 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5. Where did we get 2? Yes, we have here square root of 4. That is 2. And if you are going to notice, we now have like radicals. And 3 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5 is equal to, yes, we have here square root of 5. We cannot or it is unnecessary for us the numerical coefficient of 1 because if you have square root of 5 automatic, there is an invisible coefficient of 1. For you to understand better, let us have another example. We have 9 square root of 75 plus 2 square root of 50. Again, square root of 75 and square root of 50 can be simplified. So let us simplify first. We have here factors of 75 is 3 times 25. 25 is a perfect square. And 50 is 2 times 25. Again, 25 is our perfect square. To simplify further, we use law of radicals. We have square root of 3 times square root of 5, square root of 2 times square root of 25. And then, where did we get 5 here? Yes, that is the square root of 25. And also, 5 here, galing siya dito, square root of 25. So, in this expression, 9, 5, square root of 3, obviously, the operation here is multiplication and also in this 1. So, to simplify, it will become... 9 times 5, that is 45. So we have 45 square root of 3. 2 times 5 is 10. So we have here 10 square root of 2. And you are going to notice that they are unlike radicals because they have different radicand, which means that you cannot combine them. So this will be our final answer. I hope you can follow. So let us continue. For the next example, we have square root of 75y minus 2 square root of 27y plus square root of 48y. Again, let us simplify first the expression. So we have 25 times 3y. 25 is our perfect square. 27y can be expressed as 9 times 3y. 9 is our perfect square. 48 can be simplified as 16 and then multiply by 3y. That is 48y. Again, using the law of radicals, we have this expression. And if we simplify, we will be having square root of 25. So we have 5 square root of 3y. And then we have square root of 9 here. That's why we have 3 there. And then square root of 16, that's why we have 4 there. We have to simplify this. Again, the operation is multiplication. So we have here, you just copy this one. You multiply 2 times 3. So that's 6 square root of 3y. And then you just copy 4 square root of 3y. If you are going to look at here, all three terms has the same index and radicals. So all of these three are considered like radicals. So we can already combine them, add or subtract. Then we will be having 3 square root of 3y. The question is, how did we get 3 square root of 3y? Again, you add or subtract our coefficients. So you have 5 minus 6, that is negative 1. And then you have negative 1 plus 4, that is positive 3. And then you are just going to affix the common radicals square root of 3y. So the answer is 3 square root of 3y. Again, in adding and subtracting radicals, you have to determine which are like radicals. Again, they are expression with the same index and the same radicand. And to combine like radicals, you are just going to add or subtract the number and then you are just going to affix or keep the radical that are the same. And then lastly, you have to remember that sometimes radicals do not appear to be like. So you have to simplify it first before you try to identify whether they are like or unlike radicals. So that is how are you going to add or subtract radicals. This is Mama Sheila again. Thank you for watching.